All right, so in this one, we are gonna be implementing product images into our models for products. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna give us some space here at the bottom. So in models.py, right underneath variation, this is where we're gonna put it. And we'll call it class product image. And we're gonna do models.model. Now to keep things simple, we are gonna keep it at being a product, just like our variations. So the foreign key will just strictly be to the product itself. And that's how we're gonna handle this. And then the image itself is gonna be models.image field. And we're gonna set an upload to. And for now, I'm just gonna say products. And that can't be blank, can't be empty. And then finally, we'll just do def unicode. And we'll return self.product.title. So the product image itself has this thing, image field. Now image field is only gonna work if we install a specific library called the pillow library. It's the Python image library. And this image field, what it does is validate whether or not when you're updating or uploading an image, it actually is an image. It's not something with an extension like an image. It's gonna check whether or not what is being uploaded is actually an image, which is really cool. It will check the extensions as well as whether or not it's a, a, an image. Now, if pillow does not work for you, then you'll use file field. But we're gonna go with image field and we'll install pillow following a guide that we created on GitHub. So if we go to our GitHub guide, this is it right here, Django and image field and pillow. So this is gonna go through if you have any issues with the Python image library, then you wanna check out this guide. Um, if you if it installs successfully like we're about to do, then great. So let's jump into our terminal and I'm gonna go ahead and do pip install pillow, press enter, and this sh should install pillow on your virtual environment. For me, it installed successfully, no problems. But again, if you do have problems or any issues, check out this guide because it goes through a lot of different things there. All right, so now going back into our project, now we can use this image field and we have to set upload to, so we specify where it's gonna be uploaded and we'll see where it's uploaded here in just a moment. But let's go ahead and migrate our database. So we'll first off do make migrations and then python manage.py migrate. All right, and then we can run a server again. I'm gonna put the product image in the admin as well. So product image and then admin.site.register product image. There we go. Let's go into our admin so we can actually upload some images. Click on product images, add product image. We'll click product MP3 player. And of course, I downloaded a bunch of images already into my project. So you can, you can download images however you'd like. And in this case, I'm just gonna put in MP3 player, hit save, add another product image and iPhone cover Save, okay, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. And then we'll go into products, MP3 player. So now let's actually pull in our image here. So I'm gonna go back into our product detail and right underneath object title, I'm gonna do a div class in here or just a div. And then I'll do, we wanna get the image source. So if object image set that count is greater than zero, then we'll show the images. So end if, and we'll do a for loop inside of this div, say for image, and then we're gonna get this whole image set here, dot all, and we'll just do image source equals to and it's gonna be image. Dot image. So image, of course, dot image is going to the field itself. And then after that, we will say in four, and we'll add a class of image dash responsive. It's a bootstrap class. So we refresh in here, we've got a problem with the image itself. So let's actually paste out what that is coming through as. Image.image .image is showing us products slash MP3 player. 
but that unfortunately is not where the image is being served from and it's not where it's being stored in. So let's actually take a look at where it's being served from and stored in before we even loop in it. So I'm gonna paste two different things here. I'm gonna do dot file and then I'm gonna do dot URL. So if we refresh in here, it gives me two different locations. File is actually where it's stored. URL is actually where it's being served from. So it's not always going to be the same. And in this case, it's definitely not the same. So it's being served from slash media products and MP3 player. So if we change this one to dot URL and refresh in here, it now actually brings in that image, which is really good. So now we can see that image and I can get rid of these paths here. Uh, before I refresh that page though, something we do want to look at is this media root stuff down in our static and ENV actually now has any uploads that we might have made or put into, um, into use for our project. And that's actually really important because of how our products and how they're actually going to work with um, all of the different images. So if I go to iPhone cover, it also has that image too. So we only have two images actually uploaded at this point. Um, but now our products do have images. So I did say that for now, I was gonna upload it to products, but there's actually another way that we can make this a little bit more dynamic than just going into a default folder called products. So to do this, we have to create a function in here. So to find this function, say upload to, or let's say image upload to. And this takes in two items here and it's gonna take in the instance and the file name. So, and we have to return something here. So what we wanna return in this case is the instance, so the product, wherever, whatever the product name is, as well as the file name. But I want the slug version of the product name, not the actual product name. So let's go ahead and import slug. I'll show you what slug does once we get there, um, but I'm gonna have to import this function called slugify. And that's in from django.utils.text import slugify. And we're gonna scroll down here. And upload to is going to be, first off we'll get the title is equal to the instance um, dot product dot title. And then the slug version of that would be slugify of title. So this creates the title into a slug. And what we want to return here is, I'll do some string substitution. First off, I'll do product still, and then I'll do um, the string substitution stuff. So the first off is gonna be slug, and then the second will be file name. All right, so now we're gonna change this upload to to being right there. So this is gonna handle, this function will actually handle it. And now let's go back into our products into our admin that is. And we're gonna to go to product images, MP3 player. I'm gonna change this to, again, I'm gonna upload the MP3 player again and hit save and continue editing. Oops, and we have a little bit of an issue and that has to do with that first slash. So hopefully you noticed before we didn't have a slash up front, we just had it without it. So let's go ahead and save it without that first slash as it should be. And then we'll put that MP3 player in, hit save and continuing, and now it's in where it should be. So notice that it says MP3 dash player. So that's the slugified title. So if we go back into our storage for this stuff, we'll see now that there's a folder in here called MP3 player. So that of course is being related directly to the product it's, it's saved as, right? So if we go back into, let's say iPhone cover, and we put this one in, Go to iPhone cover. It's going to save and continue. It changes it to iPhone cover and then iPhone cover.jpg. So another thing that you could do inside of this upload is you could change the file name. So we'll say new file name equals to, and I'm going to just get the extension from the other file. So I'll do percent s dot percent s. We'll say file extension equals to file name dot split. These are Python functions. And then we'll get the second item here. So it's gonna be two things. It's gonna upload it and then we're gonna split. So we've got the file extension and we wanna get the instance.id 
and then file extension. So this will give it the new file name that's going based off of the instance itself of product image or the, excuse me, um, not, not variation, but product image. So this will actually change the file name. So new file name down here, and that's how you would actually change the file name as well. So let's change this iPhone cover to, it would give us the instance ID. So I hit save and continue, and now it changes it to the instance ID. So it actually updates that name specifically on how you might like it, which is also really good because then we could even change it for all sorts of things. In this case, if we wanted to have it where it's the original file plus the instance name, that's also very easy. We can do OG or let's say base name and file extension. We can just change it like this. And then we just add another string substitution item here and say base name, comma, instance ID, file extension, which is something you might wanna do, or you might wanna change it instead of base name, you might want it to be slug. So there's all sorts of things that on how you can go about doing this to make it a little bit um, more customized as far as the image upload is concerned. And again, if you test it out and we say, this is iPhone cover, save and continue, it's gonna change it as is. And the nice thing about this too, is if we look inside of our iPhone cover stuff, it's actually not, it's actually not overriding anything at this point. Now, of course, if I uploaded the exact same picture again, it would actually override what we just did. So we save and continue, but it doesn't do that. It actually adds on something to it, which is really nice. So it's not by default overriding what's in there. It's gonna add an extension that, that just changes it ever so slightly. Um, all right, so now if we go back into our products, and again, we see the iPhone cover, that's working great. MP3 player also working great. Um, so that's how you can handle images in Django. Um, if you have any questions on how this works and how the upload happened, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.